Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the OTP on card app. So let's see how to install the app. You need to log into your Shopify account and then go to the apps section. Here, you need to click on the visit the Shopify app store button. Now, search for the OTP on card. Click on the app's name. Click on add app. Now further you need to click on the install app button. Now here you need to approve the charges of the app. This app comes with a 7 days free trial period and after which you need to pay for the app. So click on the start free trial period. After the confirmation, your app will be listed in the app section like this. So once done with the installation, you need to click on the app's name. This action will take you to the configuration section which has further three sections that is journal configuration, SMS configuration and label configuration. Coming to the journal configuration, here you will have an option which says if you want to allow guest checkout on your store or not. So if you enable this option then your customers can check out as guest and they won't be receive any OTP while ver for verification of their card. Next. Here you will have an option which says add note in order details that if it has been verified by phone if validated through OTP. So if you want to add a note to the orders which are verified through OTP then you can enable this option. What this actually does it when you click on the orders the following orders will have a note like this order has a note. And when you click on the order, you can see the note over here which says verified through OTP. So if you want this functionality, then you can enable this option. Okay, coming back to the configuration. Last we have an option which says stop OTP validation on cart. So if you are testing or you don't want your customers to be verified for a period of time, then you can click over here and you can enable this option or disable this option as per your preference. Next, coming to the SMS configuration. So over here we have two SMS gateways. First is the, you can, uh, first is the TLU configuration and second is the MSG91 configuration. So you can configure any of the gateway whichever you want or whichever you have the account of. So coming to the Twilio you need to enter the account SID, authentication token, send a phone number and the OTP content and then click on save. Similarly you can do the MSG91 configuration where you need to enter the authentication key, the sender ID, OTP SMS content and then click on save. Lastly, we have the label configuration. From this section, you can update the front end labels and then click on the save or the reset button if you want to reset it. Now, coming to the OTP validated orders section, here you will have a list of all the validated orders through OTP with the following details like order name, the phone number, the customer email and the date on which the order was placed. Clicking on the order ID, it will take you to the order section of that particular customer. So here you will have the detail of the particular order. Coming back to it, now when we navigate to the card validation section, here you will have a list of all the cards token showing if they are validated or not. So like this particular card has been validated and this particular card is not. So here you can see the list of all the card tokens with their validate, uh, validation status as yes or no. Now let's see how you can configure the front end. 
just go to the configuration section and then SMS configuration. At the bottom of this page, you will get the codes that need to be pasted in the given liquid files. So to add phone number in the registration form for the customers, you need to paste this given code in the customer slash register dot liquid file. For a demonstration, click over here. This is the demonstration of how you need to paste the code. Click here to visit the customer slash registration dot liquid file. So simply just copy the code and paste it in this file. Second, to have the OTP validation during checkout, you need to paste this given code in card.liquid file. Click here for the demonstration and click here to visit the card.liquid file. This was all about the front end. Now uh, let's see how your how this functionality works for your customers. So here is your storefront and we have not logged in to the customer account yet and the checkout is and disabled guest checkout is disabled from the backend. So let's go to the catalog. Click on add to cart button. Now when the customer will click on checkout he will land on the login page so before checking out he need to log in and that will be mandatory so if you want he can even create account or with a phone number field over here so we already have an account so let's just log in now after logging when you click on the checkout option you will be asked to enter the OTP which will be sent to the registered mobile number if you want to resend the OTP just click on the recent OTP button if you want to update the phone number then click on the update phone number enter the phone number and validate the card this was pretty much all about the OTP on card app lastly just want to add that Merchants having Shopify Plus plan can get an option to validate customer's order after order completion if placed via COD payment method. So you need to contact us if you want this exclusive feature in your app. This was all. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you.